What's up guys, it's Block says back here for another video, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make a game pass, how to make game passes in Roblox. And game pass is really important because this is how you're actually going to be beginning, uh, beginning actually earning Robux with Roblox and maybe actually getting actual money. So this is how you're actually going to be earning Robux, okay? So in this video, I'll be showing you what do you need to know and how to make a game pass so you can make game passes and earn Robux for Robux games. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over replicate storage and add a remote event, which is a event which gets triggered whenever something happens. And we're going to got the we're going to uh, we're going to name this bot. Okay. Right after what we're going to do, we're going to go over and start a GUI and add a screen GUI. And in this screen GUI, we're going to go over and add a text button like that. And we're going to go over and just place this text button right here. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go over and make this text button a bit more fancy. So we should do this as well. So players would be more attracted and prefer and, and would like to buy the game pass. So times two speed and scale this text and go over and font and make this bold or semi bold no bold okay here so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over and change the colors to something like this okay so here it looks nice and i would definitely buy this if i was a player okay so the next thing you're going to do is go over and add a game pass to your game okay so i've made a game pass called two times speed which costs 70 robux and uh to do this you're going to go over here you're going to publish your game go in the place of your game and what you're going to do is you're going to go over in the store and you're going to go over and add a game pass but in my case i have already created one put a picture set it up and everything so yeah you can do same to actually i guess add a game pass to your roblox game so that's not it because you're gonna have to make some coding so it accesses the game pass whenever you click on the button and you will be able to buy it from the roblox game so we're just gonna go over and click on the game pass and take the game pass id because we're gonna need this later on so the next thing we're gonna do is go over and add a local script to this text button okay so we're gonna go over and add a local script and go here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local market place equals game dot double dot get service marketplace service okay so this for a shortcut we're gonna instead of every time saying game double dot get service marketplace service we're just gonna say marketplace okay after we're gonna make a local ID equals the ID that we've just copied from Google and you I showed you how to do that it's simple and I'll just show you again how to do this real quick you go here and you just go over and copy that the ID right here and paste it in where I've just pasted it so it's as simple as that okay so we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one click okay mouse button one click double connect function and we're going to simply to make some shortcut local player equals game dot player the player is dot local player so instead of saying every time games dot player dot local game dot players dot local player we're going to say simply player okay so right now we're going to do marketplace double dot prompt game pass purchase player and comma we're gonna do id okay so after we're gonna do marketplace dot prompt purchase game pass finished double dot connect function 
and in those brackets we're gonna do player ID and purchased okay so after what we're gonna do is if ID equals equals sorry if ID equals equals ID sorry like this is pretty confusing if ID equals equals ID okay so this could probably lead into some problems so we're gonna go over and just change this to G ID for game pass ID okay so we're gonna say if ID equals to G ID and we're gonna change everywhere where there's ID from before just to G ID okay okay so we don't get problems and don't get mixed up okay here and purchased then and by the way make sure to put them same right there okay GID GID okay and everything should be same everything is GID okay so make sure to not change like example this one ID and that one GID both of them need to be same local PLR equals game dot players dot local player. So we're going to do if PLR equals equals player, then game dot replicate replicated storage dot bot. So this is the even we made a first double the fire server here so we're asking the event to go over and fire in the server okay so if we're going to do script dot parent double dot destroy so we're going to do script dot parent dot parent because you want to destroy the screen gui okay so here we have the first script done and we're going to go on and make a second script and serve a script service which is going to be a local script as well actually just go over and make this this local script into script because you want the script to be a general script okay so we're going to go over and just make a script okay so here we go so let's just go over and start so here I've made the script real quick and uh, I didn't want you guys to see me scripting it takes a long time so as well uh, you guys can just go over stop it in this video pause it and you could see uh, the script and as well I will uh, let you the script link in the description I will let you the script link in the description I think I will uh, depends I think I will yes I will okay sure I'll let you do scripts look in the description uh, so you know you could actually just simply copy and paste the scripts and you would it would be much easier for you okay so this is pretty much it so let's just go over and try it out okay guys so here are the scripts and I have simply put it a random ID because I wanted to test it like if it wasn't real a game uh, and I just put it a random ID of any game pass and I, I think it's one of the Mad City's game pass okay whatever and uh, now let's test it out as well I will leave the scripts in the description so you would be able to get it okay so like I said you will be able to double your speed with any so example if you have a speed shop in your game even if you buy a greater speed than 30 or 26 you would still be able to double it no matter what it's not like a script who sets your speed to a certain value it's a script who simply doubles your speed so without further ado let's go over and check it out check it out and let's see if it's working and you guys will know of course it is working so let's just go over and check it out Let's see guys, let's see. You guys ready to check it out? Okay. Click. Yeah, this is totally one of the Mad City's Game Pass, whatever, okay. Okay, bye. You will put you will put your own game pass if you if it's your game, okay? Bye. Okay. Deletes itself. 
Am I faster? Yes, I am. Okay, guys, so it worked perfectly fine. And if I go over in a workspace, find myself, and go over to my humanoid, the walk speed is doubled by two. So it's 32. Okay, it's usually 16. It got, it got doubled by two, so it's 32. So it's perfectly fine. So let's just go over and test if I put my walk speed to 40. Is it going to still, is it still going to double it? and 280 okay so yes the answer is yes it is because in the script i've made a script who takes the value and whatever is the value it doubles it okay so let's go over in the workspace find myself go over in the humanoid go down and put the walk speed to something like 60 okay i'm already super fast and if i buy it bam okay so it put it to 32 and I know why okay it's because I have changed the walk speed here okay so I haven't changed the I have to change the walk speed manually okay and uh, when you change the walk speed manually it doesn't count it as changed it counts it as the same value and I do not know why so I gotta make a script who sets your value to as default so I'm just gonna go over so okay okay so it's because I've changed the value that way that it's not working but as you can see the script is definitely changing it uh, multiplying it by two don't worry about that so if i got rid of the deleting thing uh, the deleting the the part of the of the of uh, destroying it like right here it would double it by two if i buy it again so that's what that's what would happen okay just wait Bam. Again, see, I'm even faster now. So I'm telling you guys, as you can see right now, let's to prove that it is actually doubling your speed. Look how fast I am now. So yes, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I guess, see you the next video and as well. The egg hatching system will be coming. I thought I was going to be doing it today, but I've ran into some errors and I'm trying to fix it. So in a tutorial, everything will be fine. So I guess see ya for the next video.